हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रजत एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव एक्चुअली इंस्टॉल्ड द पाइथन एंड आल्सो वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट सो मेनी बैंकिंग एस्पेक्ट बट टुडे माय फोकस विल बी टू मेक ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ इव इंडिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल डिफ्रेंशिएट एंड इम्पैक्ट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ योर पी डी एल मॉडल्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम लेट्स टेक फॉरवर्ड so guys here is a concept based document which i prepared and all of you will be able to download this document also from the github repository so all of you have this handy with yourself now before moving to the hardcore modeling this is very important to understand dependent independent variable because when you uh, go through any of the course so it's always important you understand the variable in the data and i am going to touch upon that what are the data variables are going to be used in calculation of pd lgd and ead ultimately the estimated credit loss okay so now number 1 is probability of default which we call pd so for a pd model okay the estimation of likelihood that the borrower will default or not to so this basic simple thought you can give a answer in either yes or no whether a person will default or not simplified now that is our target variable the prediction is the target okay so that's why this is known as a dependent variable why this is a dependent variable because this will depend on so many features like whether the person have a good income or not whether the person have a good credit history or not so all those things which i'm talking like credit history income age those things are independent because on the basis of them we are going to calculate whether the person will default here or not now let me highlight certain things for you guys so guys this is the variable which is dependent variable that's why i called it a default indicator because ultimately that's what you would be predicting and one represent that borrower is defaulting zero indicate that borrower did not default this is the output this is the output of a pd model so ultimately this is what you are going to predict in this whole process now what are the variable which we will use when we are going to define whether person will default or not obviously that question will come to your mind so answer to that will be independent variables are very important for the dependent value calculation these are the predictors okay so make sure you remember with this terminology dependent variable are known as target variable and independent variable is known as a predictor okay so this is very much specific as per the company so you should know this terminology now the borrower characteristics like you and me we are the borrower right we are the people who are actually defaulting or not now age my income my employment type whether i am a private sector employee government sector employee or what is my credit history all these are very important and these are borrower characteristics variable then you have loan related variables for the person what are they loan amount how much loan i have taken let's say i have taken a home loan so that amount which the bank has given me as a home loan then interest rate like 7% 8% whatever it is the home home loan interest that is again a loan feature then the tenure let's say whether you are going for 10 year 15 year 20 year whatever it is that is known as a tenure again this is a independent variable all these are independent variable then you have behavior prediction of the customer so you do by missing payments whether the customer is missing payments very frequently then credit utilization then recent in inquiries okay so these are self explanatory then there are factors which are related to macro economic factors because it is also very much likely that a person with a good credit score from a good country will not default but people let's say are from some uh, specific country like syria and ukraine at the moment because there is a war happening there so the crisis and the economy is very much high there so that's why if you see the gdp growth of the country then the inflation rate in that country then unemployment rate of that country is also very important now when you combine all this so you basically predict this simple now this is the difference between dependent and independent variable for the probability of default model now let's move forward and let's talk 
in the respect of LGD model, which is loss given by the default, how these two segregate. So the purpose is to estimate the percentage of the loan that will be lost if the borrower default the loan. Simple. Now, what is the prediction value? We call it dependent target or prediction, anything you like. Now, LGD percentage, loss after recovery exposure at default value. Default LGD, simplified, right? Now, this can be fractional part. This can be a big part also. If the person is defaulting after paying for a very good tenure, then the very fractional part of the value will be lose, right? It can be from 0% to 100%, right? If a person is like defaulting in a very early stage, that is 0%. And then if you are basically seeing that the person is defaulting after a certain period of time, let's say he was paying 40,000 rupees as a EMI. So he was paying for a couple of months. Let's say he paid it for 10 months. And total he paid is 4 lakh. The loan value was, let's say, 10 lakh. For example, with interest, I'm saying, let's say with interest, which the customer need to pay, the value was 10. Now, the LGD will be 6 lakh at this point of time. It can be 0 to 100. So this is very much self-explanatory that with the increasing tenure, the more amount you will pay to the bank, the less will be loss given by the default. It's very proportional. Now, the independent variable in this case, what are the independent variable? So if you see type of collateral, like what the customer has put as a collateral to the bank, let's say they have put the loan against mortgage. So the bank itself has an authorization that if the customer is not able to pay the loan, the bank will sell the flat or the house and they will recover the money. Then loan to value ratio. What is LTV ratio? It's very, very important term guys. LTV is very important in any LGD model. Now, what is loan to value? See, when you apply a loan, let's say, so you are asking for a loan of 80%. You're saying that bank should pay 80%, but bank says, I will only pay 73% of your property. Let's say you are buying a house of one CR, one crore. Now you want to say the bank that give me 80 lakhs, 20 lakhs, I'll put by myself. But bank is saying as per your credit history, as per your overall income, we can give you only 73 lakh. Now this 73% is known as a LTV at that moment of time. So LTV value keeps on changing with over a period of time. Initially, you wanted the LTV as 80%. So but bank has approved only 73%. Now, other variables are whether the loan is secured or unsecured. Secured loans are which are backed by the mortgage or unsecured loans are which are not backed by any mortgage. Then loan amount, interest rate, then credit score, financial health indicator of the customer, like whether the customer is growing, the income and the salary is good or not, all those value. Then macroeconomic conditions are always there, like housing market trend, recovery rates. So all these are very, very person specific, country specific features. Now you can see the difference in PDLGD, you had a independent variable, sorry, dependent variable. What was that? Probability either zero or one, whether person will default or not. Here you have a percentage from zero to hundred. That is the independent factor here compared to the PD one, because there it was a zero or one here you have percentage. Now, in the exposure at default model, if you see here in exposure at default is the estimation of total exposure at a bank will have to lose at the time of default simplified. I already explained it in previous video in this playlist only. Now EAD, okay, it's a monetary value, the outstanding balance plus potential future down uh, or you can understand as a total EAD is exposure to default that can be including the interest and capital. So EAD and LGD are pretty much confusing sometimes, sometimes because EAD and LGD both with time decrease only because the 
first customer is paying the loan right so when you are paying the loan so the size of the loan is decreasing day by day or month by month so that's why with over period of time the exposure at default also decrease now this is the output will be there okay ead value the amount will come here here you are not going to get a percentage like lgd or any probability like yes or no like pd so you will not get a percentage you will not get a default flag you will get a amount or a value here okay simplified now the independent variable here are loan and credit feature which is your credit limit utilization rate and loan type what type of loan you are applying then borrower behavior uh, variables which are very important like past usage pattern or repayment behavior whether the customer was a old customer to the bank and how was he as a customer when he was using our credit card now so this is just a hypothetical example okay to understand the concept now macroeconomic factor like interest rate trend and economic downturn so this is also very important so all of these are independent and dependent variable for pd lgd ead models okay guys i think this is pretty much clear to all of you now in last of this video i just created a summary for all of you so that you can utilize this so these are the three model pd lgd ead now these are the dependent variables like default flag yes no percentage of loss given by default and then amount at default okay very easy then these are the key independent variable in a generic term in the bank as per my 12 years of experience all these are important now remember that ltv ratio this term sometime ask in interview directly that what is ltv so you should know that ltv is a part of loss given by default okay sometimes people get confused and then they say that we are calculating ltv in ead so which is a wrong answer so on that note guys i would like to conclude this video i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful please share this video with your friends your colleagues and your students and your friends and if you want to appreciate to my effort please subscribe to my youtube channel please put the comment in the comment section whether you like this video or not very soon we would be starting with the hands on uh, model but before that whatever the important concepts i wanted all of you to understand that and then we'll move on to the model okay how we build pd lgd ad model now on that note i would like to conclude this video and i would ask for your appreciation if you like this video on that note okay i'll take a leave from you all of you all the best and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys